This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Head over to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial. Hey, welcome to another edition of App Judgment. My name is Ron Richards, and I'm here with my pal, Zach Miner. How you doing, Zach? I'm doing great. Thanks That's for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, Zach works here at Revision 3, and we were talking the other day about rooting your Android phone. Yes. Uh, it's something that actually you, a lot of you in the App Judgment audience have written in asking for information on how to root your, your Android phone, or why would you want to. Now, I've never done it. I've kept my Nexus 1 completely factory installed because I need it to test the apps. It's got to be a controlled environment. You're a cautious guy. I am a cautious guy, but you and your Motorola a droid, you're a little more adventurous than I am, and you've been t you've gone down the rooting path. I did. I finally took the plunge about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and so I've been I've been working with a, a rooted phone. Are you better um, off for it? I am. You know, I feel like I've learned a lot in the last two weeks. Um, <laughs> I really, I've poked in some areas of my phone that maybe I wish I didn't, but uh, overall it's been a great experience. Cool. Well, I want to dive into how you did it, but first, just for those who might not be in the know, rooting your phone is similar to those iPhone users and when they call jailbreaking. Right, right. right. So rooting is probably actually a better name for it because it basically sure. gives you root access to the phone system files. Yeah. And al that allows you to tap into hardware resources, to install different software, right. things like that. Android is an open platform, unlike the iPhone, which is a closed platform. So already, this is, you know, the way apps are developed, it's, it's much more easier to get more functionality out of your phone, but this just takes it to the next level. Right, so, so there's still a lot of restrictions that, um, that the carrier or the manufacturer has put on your phone. Right, exactly. So before we get into how we do it, I just want to give a word of warning. There's a little bit of a gray area in this. I mean, it's not illegal, but it's definitely not, it's frowned upon by Google and by the phone manufacturer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you don't want to bring your phone back into the store with it having all this stuff on it. Exactly. Know? This is we, this is as close to voiding the warranty as it comes. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yes. But so you definitely want to be careful when you're doing it. It's also more on the hacker, modder, techie kind of side. So those novice users, be cautioned. You know, things could go wrong. You, yeah. You can always reset your phone back to factory, but still. So. Well, there and there is a chance once you get deep that yeah, you, you could break your phone. Yeah. So be so. warned. With that being said. So that said, so what app did you use to root your phone? Well, I've wanted to root my phone for a while, and I haven't been able to because it's been a really lengthy process. You've mm. had to um, had to go and download um, Motorola's drivers and these apps that you know these computer apps that they only use in like the Verizon stores when right. your phone is completely uh, bricked. Really like engineering um, apps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and worst of all, you need a PC. Yeah. I'm a Mac guy, and so that's kind of kept me at bay. Um, but there's recently been a surge of apps that require no computer, that yeah. are just one touch, um, and you're done. Kind of yeah. like they've been on the iPhone for a while. So the one that I uh, that I use is called Easy Root, okay. and um, it was added to the uh, to the Android market last week, and mysteriously got removed from the Android market a couple days later. Mysteriously, yeah, 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 it's a little <laughs> unclear why that happened. Yeah, um, but the guys who made it, Unstable Apps at unstableapps.com. That's a great URL. Is, <laughs> yeah, really, what I want my uh, what I want my developers to be called. Yeah. Um, they put it up on their site, and you can uh, PayPal them either 99 cents or up to 5.99, kind of like a you know in rainbows, whatever whatever you think it's worth. Nice type of payment. And um, you download the APK uh, mm -hmm. to your phone, and they give you uh, like an unlock code, and you type in your, the code and the email, and it's it's one touch on root. So you just install it on your phone, you enter your email address and your key, and then hit up, root it, and that does it. And that's it. You wow. have to reboot your phone. Now that's that's only the beginning of the process. Right. Because once you root your phone, you, the phone looks the same. There's not really any new apps or anything. Right. It's just you know the the doors are opened. Right. And what it does, like I'm on a Nexus One, which is fairly bare bones, fairly standard. Android, but a friend of mine got the HTC Evo, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of Sprint, and one of the reasons why is all that bloatware that they put on that phone. Yeah. They right. put their own custom skin on it, all the, all this customized, you know, the Sprint network stuff. Right. If I had an Evo, I'd be looking towards routing, because then I can get rid of that crap, free up space, let my phone run a little faster, and install the apps I want. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So basically, rooting allows you to install custom ROMs. Nice. And so everything, after you've rooted, pretty much everything is done through this program called ROM Manager. Mm -hmm. And that allows you to um, download ROMs that are produced by the Android community that are basically like tweaked OSs. And so some are, you know, the bloatware removed. Yeah. Some look totally different. They have some a lot of cool like designs. So you can change the interface, change the skin, change the stuff like that. Yeah, right? remove un unwanted applications. Yeah. And some of the cooler features are, 
you can overclock your phone with wow. custom ROM. So like cool. the Droid is stock at like 550 megahertz. Like mine's at 800 right now. Well, look at you. Yeah, you know, I, life moves pretty fast, Ron. You gotta have a <laughs> phone that can catch up. Um, that's, that's great. So it lets you make your phone run faster, uh, allows you to add on software that maybe the you know Google or the phone manufacturers don't want you to have. Right. Like, like for example, Froyo just recently launched with its Wi-Fi tethering and stuff like that, but not all phones support it. Yeah, and so, so uh, that's actually one app that's, um, that uh, rooted users have been doing for a while. Yeah. And so it's kind of made, finally made the transition to an official version. Um, but Froyo for the Droid, the Droid 1, which I'm using, um, will not have wire, yeah. uh, wireless tethering capability. Know a lot of Droid people that are upset by that. Yeah, Motorola came out and said that it doesn't have the hardware capable of doing it. I heard about that. Which is a little bit interesting because it's been available to rooted users for several months. Yeah. And in fact, when I was when I read that news article, I was on my laptop tethered through my my Droid phone. Your rooted Droid phone. Yeah, so. exactly. Nice one, Motorola. Yeah. So cool. Well, so there's a ton of potential if you want to root your phone, if you want to go down that route. But again, be careful. You run the risk of screwing things up. You know, basically this is a computer, so just like you could screw up your computer by reinstalling the OS or something like that, right. it's the same kind of dangers. So definitely check out Easy Root if you want to try that. There's a couple other apps that are out there. there. Like, does Easy Root work with all phones? No, Easy Root is only for the Droid and the Droid X right now. Yeah. All right. So there you go. So there probably if you have a Nexus One or an HTC Evo, there might be other apps you want to check out. Yeah. So. So if you've given rooting your phone a try and have had some success stories or some horror stories, let us know. We want to hear about it. Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com, or you can check us out on the web at Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and as always, we're on revision3.com slash appjudgment, where you can subscribe, you can see the previous episodes, see new episodes, you can become a fan. You're a fan. I love this show. Yeah, I know you do. So until next time, I'm Ron Richards. And I'm Zach Miner. And I'm not going to root my phone. Wuss. <laughs> Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Macs, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like the Xbox 360, PS3, and the Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free, and there are never any late fees or due dates. Keep the movies for as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. As a new member and as an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free tryout membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you.